Hey there everyone, now in this video we will finish some routes regarding the uh, orders. So I have created few routes here. So one is the create order, list order, cancel order or get order by IDs. These are all the routes related to the user. In the further videos we will see how we can create the admin routes as well. So these are all the controllers here and similarly I have defined a route file as well which is orders.ts and I have listed all the routes here. So uh, let's first start on this create order. So this create order will be a bit complex. So we, there are a couple of steps uh, which we will follow. So let me write it down. So first will be to create a transaction. Because we will be uh, dealing with the multiple models and the queries. So transaction is required. Second one will be, so once we create the transaction, second one will be to list all the cart items. To list all the cart items and proceed if cart is not empty. So if there are no items in the cart, then simply we will return an error, error message, else we will proceed forward. Now apart from this, no, it's not empty, okay. Now apart from this, what we will be needing is uh, once uh, the cart is received, we want to calculate the price. Calculate the total amount. Once the total amount is also calculated, we want to retrieve the address of the user. So fetch address of user and uh, Apart from that, like we will fetch it, but we will also want to create the formatted address as well. So we will be like needing a computed field. So we will define that. So fifth uh, part will be to define computed field for formatted address on, sorry. On address model. Once everything is done, we want to sixth step will be uh, we will create order and order products. And as a sorry, it will be order and order products, not order routes. Okay. Seventh part will be uh, create the event related to that order. So the, by default, the event will go inside pending state. Create event. So these are all the things which uh, we will be needing. Let's comment this out. Sorry. Come on, what am I doing? Okay. So let's uh, start working on these step by step. So first part is to create a transaction. So first you will say return await prisma client dot transaction and inside transaction we will be passing an async function which will receive the transaction object here and then we'll perform all the queries inside this arrow function. Now first one is to like the create transaction is completed. Now the second part is to list all the cart items. So const cart items, then await. So now we'll perform all the queries on this transaction object instead of Prisma client. So we'll say transaction dot cart item dot find many. And inside find many, we will say where a user ID will be request dot user dot id so we have all the cart items now we will perform the check so that check will be if cart items dot length equal equal zero then we will say simply response dot json and inside the json we will say message cart is empty and we will return from here. So we don't want to proceed further if the cart is empty. Now if cart is not empty, then what you want to do is we want to uh, create the uh, price. So first we will calculate the price. 
and that price we will be calculating it using the reduce function of the array so we will say const price is equal to cart item dot reduce and inside the reduce we will be passing an arrow function and the initial value so initial value we will start with zero and this arrow function will receive two arguments so one is the previous value and one is the current value so the previous value will be of type number because we will be computing the uh, price of each item in the cart and the current value will be the current cart item so we will iterate over all the cart items and calculate its price so we will say return so inside the return we will say previous value plus and we want to say current dot quantity and that quantity will be multiplied by so we want to fetch the products here as well so we will say include product true because we need the price of the product as well so we need the product model so we will say current dot product dot price and let's type cast this to number so this will iterate over all the cart items and it will calculate the price so if you are not aware about the reduce function maybe you can read it on the mdn docs so it will start with zero so it will say zero plus the first cart items quantity into its price then so on and it will calculate the price so once the price is also calculated we have to fetch the address so we will say const address is equal to await so we will say transaction dot address dot find find first and inside find first we will say where sorry id will be equal to request dot user dot default shipping address we can store default billing address as well but let's uh, do it for the shipping address and it will be same for the billing address so address is also there now we have to include the custom field like the computed field of formatted address on the address module so what we will do is we will go inside this index.ts and the place where we have defined this initialize this prisma client so here we want to extend it so this is how we extend the or create the computed fields if you had followed my lectures and what you want to compute so on the results results of address we want to attach an extra field which will be formatted address that formatted address we it will require a couple of things so it will require line 1 it will require line 2 as well then city country pin code and then we will say compute and compute will take a function and the argument of this function will be the address and then we will say return first it will be line 1 sorry address dot line 1 then comma address dot line 2 then again comma it will be city then so address dot city then comma then it will be address dot country and then dash and then it finally it will have the pin code yeah so it will work like this so we have extended this address model to attach a formatted address computed fields now once we have all the information here now what we want to do is we want to finally create an order const order is equal to await transaction dot order dot create add inside data we will say uh first we will say user id so let's pass the user id first so user id will be request dot user dot id then it will be price or i guess it was amount net amount okay so the amount will be equal to the price which we have calculated 
apart from that we'll have address address dot formatted address now you can see that we have auto complete here and then we want to create the product as well so we will say product create so we can create the related fields here as well in the single query so what we want to do is inside this create we want to pass an array of all the products so we can simply map over this cart items cart items dot map and we want to return something and it will receive the cart one by one and what we want to return is first we want to return the product id so it will have cart dot product id and then we will have quantity so cart dot quantity and if everything is succeeded then the order will be created successfully now once the order is created then we want we want to do is create an event as well so we will say const await transaction Shoot. are we outside the transaction yeah so this will go inside this transaction so we will say transaction dot order event dot create and it will also receive a data field which will have order id order id will be is equal to order dot id and apart from id we will have a status so by default the status will be pending so we can leave it as it is so we have order event now there is one more thing which i forgot so the eighth step will be to empty the cart so once the order is created there is no need of the cart so as a final step we will say await sorry transaction dot cart items dot delete many and inside delete many we we will say where user id is equal to request dot user dot id so these are all the things it's a pretty complex create order function so just go through it and if you have any issues let me know in the discussion section and i will happy to help you out and once everything is done what you want to say is return response dot json order now uh, let's give it a try in the postman so go to the postman create a separate folder for the orders let's duplicate this move it inside the order and we will change the name to create order rename this to orders and inside the body we don't need anything so let's remove this now in the prisma studio if you go in the cart item we have uh, one cart item for the logged in user which has quantity 6 and user id 8 with the products 46 so let's see if it's working or not okay so it's still running maybe i need to restart the server or what let's restart the server first now let's hit send okay so you can see that the order is created the net amount is 600 id is 2 order id is 2 and user id is 8 so if you go into the prisma studio go into the order you can see that we have a live order of net amount 600 because in the cart item okay the card item is deleted so in the order product we have the product 46 and the quantity is 6 so 46 product the price is 100 so multiplied by 6 is 600 so everything is working fine order event is also there with the status of pending so everything seems to be working fine so this is how the create order works 
with all the transaction. We have like utilized all the functionality here, how to create many to many relations, how to deal with transactions and then the extended models and all these things. So it's a pretty good exercise. Now in the next lectures, you will see how these list order, cancel order and get order by ID works.